Hello fabulous Sagittarius, welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2016. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. It's an exciting month all around. Now in the early part of the month, that's where a lot of the excitement is, but in some ways you are going to find, especially early in the month, that a lot of the excitement is kind of behind the scenes. So this could be you deliberately choosing not to put a lot of things out there just yet, but this could also be things, wonderful things in some cases, happening behind the scenes without you necessarily realizing it that will benefit your life in the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is not that far away. Let me say, no, December, especially the second half of December, is lit up positively for you. There's a whole lot going on that is really fortunate for you that can move you in all kinds of positive directions and move you in a way that isn't just temporary, but towards solid gains that last. Again, just about every area of life is going to be superbly blessed for you, and it's tangible blessings. It's lasting blessings at that. This month, though, it may not necessarily be that obvious. It's not like everything is you know, necessarily just being laid out very clearly, like this is where things are wonderful, this is great but it's more quiet. It's more about a feeling. It's more about an understanding of what you really want to do. And it's more about faith, faith in what it is ultimately that you believe you are being guided towards. There is an absolutely miraculous quality to the new moon energy that we are entering this month with. There's a quality there that says, even if it isn't evident, things are working out very much to your advantage. Trust that. If you're so inclined, if you're mystically inclined, this kind of symbolism does speak to angels working tirelessly on your behalf to make meaningful change happen. Now, as we move a little bit further into the month, in the early part of the month, you will be granted action steps and inspiration. So it isn't just that, okay, you're gonna believe and that's it, but very soon it will translate into action. So don't worry about that. If things need to be quiet, if you wanna spend time on your own, trust that as well. As we move towards the middle of the month, we are going to have a few key things take place. Now, one of the key things that is taking place is the full moon. This is a super lucky full moon that is going to be happening. And it's happening for you in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your workplace. It has to do with your coworkers. It has to do with the assignments you have, the clients you have if you're self-employed. All of that is super, super lucky, super blessed for you in the middle of the month. If there is any need to connect with clients, connect with other people, if there is any need for you to have conversations or connections with your coworkers, this is absolutely the energy that you want to be tapping into. This can also be a coworker or client coming through for you in a really big way, in a wonderful way. At that, you could attract a client with a whole lot of prosperity at that as well. Now, what I really like about this particular full moon is that it does suggest positive change, that leads you towards greater prosperity and it suggests a real sense of wealth. So certainly there'll be a wealth of assignments, right? If you're trying to rack up any overtime hours, this will really help you to do that. But more so, if you are somebody who sort of strives to look at life holistically, one of your coworkers now could really make a very positive impact on your life. It may be immediate, it may be an inspiration that you end up using in a big way, but trust this, this particular energy is the kind of energy that says tangible, powerful change and opportunity being promised to you in the middle of the month. If you're trying to get another job, mid-month is the time to go and make that happen for yourself. What we also have happening as we move towards the later part of the month, uh, two things. The energy certainly is gonna switch up as we get later into the month. One of the reasons is the first of three rare conversations that are going to take place between your ruling planet Jupiter and Pluto. Now, the next two conversations are gonna happen as we get into the new year in the spring and the summer. I'll be here to talk about it then. But when I look at this, it does suggest that something very deep is changing within you. Something deep is shifting within you as you're starting to reconsider what you wish for, what you hope for, what direction it is that you desire to go in. So there's some adjustments that are happening. They may be quiet. They may be triggered in some way by a friend, 
Regardless, understand that this is the first in a process, a series of celestial events that are going to set the stage for really big changes to take place, really one after the other, building on the next and the next, starting now and going forward for the next year. You're gonna feel big changes happening for you right uh, going forward for the next 12 and a half months, really. Now, that's really powerful in itself, but as we move towards the very end of the month, we are going to have a new moon happen in your sign. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky, really, that has to do with you and what you really want and who you know yourself to be and a sense of self-understanding, being connected to what it is that you truly desire to begin and what you desire to begin again. Now, this new moon is speaking with Neptune and this type of conversation can sometimes make things a little bit not as clear as you may otherwise like. That's not always fun, right? We like to have clarity, of course. It's only a matter of a couple of days and I promise you the clarity that you'll be hoping for, seeking as you're finishing this month will come to you big time and in beautiful ways as you move further into December. Of course, I'll be here to talk about it then, but for now, this time in particular is especially powerful and especially meaningful for you. And try not to get too caught up in emotions or what could be or what seems to be, or you know, especially like the wave of emotions that happen. Strive to have, to the best of your ability, a little bit of detachment. That could go a really long way to helping you to get to those wonderful positive breakthroughs that are promised in the sky that much sooner. So it's really important to be very gentle with yourself, kind with yourself, especially where it comes to uh, things that have to do with um, how, how much you are actually living the dream, okay? So that can be part of this. Make sure you're seeing it accurately in your own way. You truly are living the dream that is meant for you right now, and that could be a very different dream very soon. It could be very different achievements very soon. But right now there is a perfection playing out and that is a sacred truth that if you connect with as we finish out the month, you will be that much more empowered for the beautiful upticks that are going to start taking place for you very soon. Now where it comes to matters of heart, where it comes to matters of love, early in the month we do have Venus moving through your sign, still moving through your sign, pretty much the first half of the month. And so this is where the goddess of love is very much on your side. The first week of November, if you want to have any kind of hair change, color, plastic surgery even, you know, putting it out there, um, new wardrobe, if you're trying to change up your look or experiment with something in a significant way, this would be the energy to do it as we are in the first week, 10 days of the month. You've got lots of positive energy to have a result that you really love. Having said that, of course, this is goddess of love. It's gonna to speak to matters of heart, matters of love as well. If you are in an established bond, you can expect some really exciting plans to be forming as we move in the early part of the month. So it does look like there's a real sense of possibility, a real sense of, yeah, we're gonna make changes and then we're gonna do this and there's gonna be so much happiness and a, a burst of positive energy coming into your relationship. If you are somebody open to meeting someone new, please be sure to be busy in the first 10 days of the of the month uh, get your flirt on even if it feels awkward at first the first couple of days it might feel a little awkward like the first of November but then as we move a little bit further in once we get to the fourth or the fifth um, you'll start to find your groove you'll start to feel a sense of ease in interacting with people in owning your space and feeling good about yourself all of that very blessed and looks really good, looks really fortunate for you. So get your flirt on, it'll actually end up being really, really lovely and you could end up having some really surprising results, surprising insights as well in all kinds of directions. But also keep in mind, next month, huge for love, really nice things are happening and of course I'll be here to talk about it then, like I said, but good things are happening right now. So take advantage of them, utilize this time well, do what you do and understand what you truly desire to do well and give yourself to that and at the same time keep your heart open, keep joy open and the universe can't help but rush in to fill that requirement of greater joy that you absolutely will be inviting in through many, many fun experiences.